Hello, hello. Welcome in Air Signs, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. I am Chanda Sparkles, Intuitive Evolutionary Astrologer, Death Doula Minister, Galactic Grid Keeper, and Sound Activator. All of my information is below. If you want to get a session with me and get on my wait list, just shoot me an email and we'll get you in. I'm so happy that you are here today as it's a very special day. It's the day out of time on the Mayan Galactic 13 Moon Calendar. So this means we are starting over a brand new Galactic New Year as of the 26th. The 25th on the eve is always the day out of time. A time of stillness, a time of reflection, a time of looking in the mirror and saying, what have I done? Where am I at? And how am I deeply connected into my inner shaman? We're just coming out of the year of the wizard or AKA the shaman. We are now stepping into this amazing energy of the storm in the Mayan calendar, the storm. And when I tapped in and really tried to start flowing with it immediately, I felt the blue source line. So I have coined it personally for all of us, the blue rhythmic storm. So this is how are you keeping up with your rhythms as you go through the storm. Storms are powerful. They're cleansing. They're electric. This is a very electric year that we're stepping into as of now. And this is the serious stargate when the stars align with the planet, uh, the pyramids of Giza. And Sirius is our spiritual sun. So tap into that serious portal for complete transformation and rebirth between now and August 12th. That is the window of the Sirius stargate portal. All right, so I just want to get a little business out of the way, if you don't mind. I am so thankful and so grateful, so excited. Sandra McEllis of Embodiment of the Soul is our sponsor for Leo season. And we are welcoming in her to give you an amazing $145 zone technique therapy she does. She does so much. She's a past life regressionist. She's a supersonic psychic galactic higher consciousness serious like crone amazing energy and she's beautiful you'll love her energy we have that and then i'm also throwing in this card deck the dragon oracle cards because we're dealing with fixed fire in leo season right and also you'll have these wonderful little look at look at look at how they're so cute the dragon earrings. Are they so amazing? I'm putting those in as well. And finally, I've created this beautiful little bundle for you. Um, sage, Palo Santo, Culeanda. And then you have right there. I just added it tonight. I had four pieces of this Idaho red rock that was sent to me by an amazing follower and sister. And, uh, I was looking at the four pieces today over there. I keep the other three over there and I thought, you know what? The number three has really been coming through for me lately in multiple ways. And so I'm going to keep it with that birthing energy and I'm going to gift one of these. So that's your bundle. It's about a $200, well, probably a little over now that I've added the rock, um, $200 gift giveaway. So the way you win is you like you subscribe and you comment on the replay below this video. If you share it out, make sure you tag me. I'll give you an extra entry. Okay. All right. So let's get going here and see what we got for the air signs, our intellect. Let me just tell you guys, first of all, you are going to have a lot more clarity. You're going to feel like, okay, my mind is not so scrambled for a little while here okay mercury has just entered into virgo which makes our mercurial mind feel a little bit more at ease with practical day-to-day -day doings whatever it is that you do day-to-day -day is going to flow a little bit easier your your thoughts and your communication it, it he likes to be at home 
He wasn't doing so great in Leo, and now he's in Virgo. But not for long. He's going to be there for a little while. He is slowing down to go retrograde. So we're in that pre-retrograde phase. Um, and today is the 25th, the day out of time when I'm doing this. So whenever you see this, you know, you'll just have to kind of pay attention to the astrology as I'm doing it more frequently. And I appreciate you being here. Thank you. All right. So we're going to tap in. Um, what I would like to do, if you don't mind, is I'm going to go ahead and ring this beautiful third eye Tibetan bowl. Just clearing the energy field of your life force energy. Pristine connection. And all of the cards have been smudged and cleansed and prepared for you. And I'm going to give you just a little bit of this smudge. Just to calm you down so that you can connect in. Right here in Noshete Mokai, Randeshete Rambakai, Rindeshete TTTTT, connecting through the heart frequency in Ukiki de Wushanaka, Unachikido Ai in Okoshi, Unaka e Shitomoka Ai in U Shitimi. There we go. That feels settled down. Yeah, very good. Calling upon the galactics, the guardians, and the gateway keepers. Calling upon the ancestors. Feeling into the blue rhythmic source of the storm. The blue rhythmic source of the storm. Coding in all of the crystalline blue light frequencies for you. We also have brought out our little mermaid. Mermaid and dolphin stone. Look at this, how beautiful. You can see all the different little colors in there. That's our Andara. And of course, the inner child healer. The Lemurian. Each line, air signs, is activating a memory code within you. Maybe some of those memories weren't so great that are attached to your DNA. Just maybe you're here to help clear all of those up for future generations. I'm going to just keep that one on the board because I feel like it needs to be. And of course, we brought out the dolphin, Andorra, sending those frequencies out to you with that Tibetan bowl. Everything here has been prepared specifically for you, okay? Everything has been cleared, and the transition is yours. Because we are in a transitioning phase right now. It's kind of like being in this space right before something's going to be birthed. Even though, yes, we're in the middle of summer, it's still this transformation energy. You know, the serious portal is when uh, souls leave the body and they often go through the serious portal to get back to wherever they're going. So let's keep that in mind as we move forward because I feel like that's coming through. I'm getting a lot of energy all of a sudden right here on the back side of my crown my back crown here so that tells me that there's been a lot of pressure coming through for you Woo, getting a lot of tingles back here too i gotta itch it mm, goodness all right we still got sound i just want to make sure because i've been having issues with this i had to buy a new cord all right so these have all been prepared for you air signs gemini libra and aquarius gemini libra and aquarius Please tell me about these highly intelligent, balanced, beautiful beings. What do they need to know for Leo season? What, what messages can best help them on their path? 
calling upon the ancestors, the highest self of the air signs. Inoke, inoke anamu, shetamu, nake na honai. Ona shetemu, kanai he chititi titi. Ush shetamai. Well, there you go. There's the magician right there. The Magician, Major Life Event, Major Arcana, the Magician card is here, giving you that possible eternal loop, followed by the sun, and they're coming out in packs, so we're going to take them. Wow. So, amazing. You got the Magician and the sun. Two very positive Major Life Event, Major Arcana cards. And that's followed by the Emperor. Well, there you go. There is the fire and the controls, all right? Then we have the Ace of Rods. The Ace of Rods, boy, I'll tell you, that is fire. Like something is, is getting fired up here. Something's beginning. Something, you're looking for something. You're searching for something. There is some big energies here. And you've got the moon. We're going to go ahead and get the last card here just because I want to have a full understanding it's interesting whoa that flew out of the deck like literally and the hierophant and i will say this um you have some similar cards on here from the last sign and i cannot remember right now okay that's crazy so technology is kind of weird especially when you're dealing with spirit they're they're stopping you to get your attention if something's going on with your technology let's just say you're watching this video and something glitches or you might be okay thank you spirit i'm smelling like candy like a jolly rancher or a bubble gum or like those sweet sweet tart things it's some kind of sweet sour tarty candy it smells good but it smells i've never in my life smelt this i'm a claire i can smell across the veil here since and see across the veil since birth if you're new um wow wow that's really potent. And I don't have any kind of, like this is uh, black currant and citrus, but this is not that. This is like, you know, when we were kids, oh my God, I'm getting the vision. Remember when we were kids, you used to have those fun dip packs and you'd take your little white stick of candy and you stick it off in the powder and then you lick it. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like that smell. Bringing you back to your childhood bringing you back to your inner child to have that joy, to find the joy frequency, air signs. Golly, wow. These are amazing energies that you have coming through, but you must tap into the inner child spirit. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you for blessing me with this amazing scent that feels just giggly almost it feels wonderful and i haven't even really looked at saw the cards yet that's so crazy okay all right so you are beginning something new um uh, this is a magician is a new card it's like i have all of these tools i have all of my stuff laid out i haven't really begun it yet because i'm still kind of like feeling into everything but the magician has all the tools. He has the fire. He has the earth. He has the air. He has the water. See, each one of his tools are represented in the alchemy loop that's going on up above him. Followed by the sun card. So seriously, there is some joy to be had. This is your challenge position. Stop getting it so heavy. The emperor is very serious. And they take care of business. You know what I'm saying? You know, they oversee the lands. They oversee the family. They're fiery, passionate. This is Aries. This is Leo. And this to me that the magician has always been some kind of an air sign. Like I just feel they're always an air sign. You know, especially kind of like uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with maybe a little bit of mixture 
uh, some, I don't know, maybe it would be like an Aquarius sun sign with like a Gemini moon, like a double air sign. I really get air energy from the magician. The ace of rods coming in from outside of you. So like you've got the ace of rods, three of rods, the four of pentacles. I feel like literally someone's going, here you go. Are you going to do it? Are you going to take this passionate, creative, new spark of an idea and actually run with it and quit being so heavy, quit being so bossy, quit worrying about the stuff? You, you don't have to be the leader this, this season. I'm just putting it out there right now. You do not have to let that shit the fuck go. Three of Rod says, I am law of attracting what I want in my life. Okay. This is the thing about the Three of Wands. He's got his back turned. And that's your center card, my friend. Okay? He has got his back turned. I'm going to zoom this in just a little bit more. Oh, not me. Hi. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. I'm getting really high on the energy because I've done like three readings tonight. Um, very, very good energy tonight. I'm really digging the energy tonight. So, let's move this just a little closer so you can see a little closer. There we go. So the three of rods, I just want, I'm going to pick this up and really put it in your face. So I want you to get this. So see him. He is standing on the shore and he knows that those ships are either coming in or they're going out, but he's got his back turned. You see those beautiful pink sunset clouds with the rays of yellow that is his dreams, his hopes, his wishes. You know, he has already made his choice. See those two sticks standing behind him? Those sticks. Wands standing behind him that are blossoming. Those fiery wands. Each one of them was a choice that he had to leave behind. Something that he could not lo no longer do. Something that he had already pretty much accomplished. And, and now he's turned his back to it and he's taking one. Okay, he's made a choice. He's turned his back and he's heading on. Your problem here is I feel like that you yourself hold this control over yourself. Like there's this energy I feel of I got to get this done and I got to take care of this and I got to do this. And, and, you know, it's like, let it go. The childhood innocence of play is calling you. The sun is all about children. Okay. And it is the Leo season ruled by children. You know, this is about family and that innocence, that smell, that sweet and sour smell that comes through. The four of pentacles is like, I'm holding on to stuff too tightly. You have to loosen your grip on your money flow, I'm feeling. Let go, let go, let go. If you put some money out there, know that twice as much is coming back. If you have to spend money on this, know it's okay. Don't, and I'm getting like a pressure headache going on right here. Right now, I can feel it. And what's happening is that you get all this anxiety going and it's not necessary because whatever happens, like when you're in the middle of something and something's happening, whatever happens, you always end up getting through it to the other side of it. And then you realize something different about it. And you're like, okay. Right. But I want to, I want you to look here. The queen of cups is poised and she handles her emotions. She has emotional integrity. She's super intuitive. She just sits back holding her cup, looking at the mountains. Chill. Oh, so I feel like that you're making a trip to the mountains. I feel like you're going to go to the mountains or the hills, or maybe you're going somewhere into a valley and you're kind of surrounded by hills. I'm seeing that very clearly. A little stream, maybe a little lake at the end. There's some kind of little getaway coming for you. Waterfalls. Oh my God, air signs. If you get the opportunity to go out of town to any of these places, take it. 
because what's happening is higher consciousness is coming through and it's going to really just kind of overlay you with this aura of more peace because we all could use some more peace, correct? This Queen of Cups says, use your emotional intelligence. You don't know everything. You have major life event, major arcana, the moon here and the Hierophant, the sun, the magician and the emperor. Seek spiritual guidance. The Hierophant is a spiritual guide. The Hierophant also can be a big organization. Maybe you're going to like a spiritual getaway. Maybe you're going somewhere to like go with the community of a group. Okay. That might be a good idea, but I feel like there's still this energy that you're like, Oh no, I'm not sure if I can afford it. You know, I have so much that I'm responsible for. How the fuck am I ever going to do this? Trust. Let go. This says you're holding on too tight. Are you the higher guide or what? Are you bringing in the higher guidance? Are you embodying your highest consciousness? Or are you getting stuck up in the weeds? Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. This moon says you're not going to know. See, it's right there below your center card, which is the three of rods, which is you law of attract what you put out, period. That is my law of attraction card. Ooh, and I'm getting big tingles through the nose. Money's coming. Stop stressing over money. Would you look at that? Okay. See, there is the moon card. So you have one foot in the real matrix and you have one foot in higher consciousness. And you have a path to walk. All right. It is time to step forward and look at the crab. See, see, I always see that crab right there, but I also see Scorpio right there. Okay, so not only are you getting things started as the crab, cancer, wood, but you're also going to die deeper so that when you come up, you'll have that aura blessing of peace and grace. Everything in this world matters. Every single thing we do matters. Every, ooh, and the nose is so crazy for this like it's like so tingly it's almost like stop <laughs> it's almost like spirit sometimes takes a feather and just goes at me and they're in the invisible realm and they're sitting there with my nose with a fucking feather while i'm trying to do this relax i'm, I'm picking up on your anxiety you, you need to let it go whatever it is let it go Come see me or go see someone and give yourself the grace of like a sound bath or give yourself the grace of a, you know, a reading some, oh my gosh, Sandra McGillis, reach out to her, embodimentofthesoul.com. Literally, I sat down with this woman and all she did was, she goes, oh no, we'll just do it over the phone. She does video, though. The one that you'll do with her, it'll be a video and you get a copy of it. But with me, she's like, we can just do it over the phone. I was like, really? I was like, cool. So I just get all relaxed in my chair with my blanket. You know, I did a little breath work and meditation. And then she just brought me through it. I was going through horrific time last year with my son. And it helped. I was able to go to work the next day. And I had been wiped. And I'm not even kidding you, like wiped. So I feel like you've kind of been wiped. I wouldn't be bringing my own personal stuff forward if it wasn't meant to be said. I feel like you can relate to this. But I do want you to know this unknown is okay. On the bottom of the deck. Oh, look at that. On the bottom of the deck. I told you money was coming. Right there. That is a tangible seed of growth. That is a tangible seed of growth. You have got something coming your way, or it's already here at this point. It is the day out of time today, the 25th. Why? 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 Oh, yeah. This is the Ten of Cups. This is the wish fulfillment card, honey. 
This is having everything emotionally that could you, you could ever possibly desire. And everything's peaceful, graceful, and joyful. And it's all at ease. And you have everything you need. You have love. You have children. You have pets. You're surrounded by love. This is all heart frequency. Leo season love. No nakashi nako. Ikira rucha makai. Okay? You're already there. Now it's time to build tangibly. I feel like you're really worried about money, but you've got so many signs here that says if you'll just trust the unknown, step into it, know that emotion is okay. You are emotionally integral. Don't let the emperor energy, and this could even be for some of you, yes. This could even be for some of you, someone outside of you that's kind of like putting the hammer down. Can't do it, you know, or it could be just someone who's driving you nuts. I kind of feel that way too, because I'm getting a little twitch on this side. It's like, I love them, but I can't deal with them. I need a break, in other words. All right, so with all of that said, let's go ahead and I have got the Mystic Martian deck out for the Galactic New Year. The Mystic Martians, let's see what, what Galactics are going to assist our beautiful air signs on this Leo season journey. What what galactics want to speak? Ooh, okay. Oh, man. Okay, so we got one there. Let's get another one. Which galactics, please? Show me which ones. Oh, I think it's coming right there. That's it. Okay. Well, hell. You got number 17, the reptilians. But this is not a bad thing, okay? So don't freak out. And this was the second card, although I'm showing it first because it was the one that popped up first. But it goes here, okay? It goes on this side where this controlling, controlling, hold on to your money, don't let go, everything's mine, I am in control. This is also a control. This could be like the Pope. It could be like all of the, the big corporations, you know, top-down structures kind of thing. So there's just all this control right here. All of this, I'm holding on so tight that I can't let them out go. That's why this came. Don't allow the control factor that's within you or those around you to stop you from grabbing. You've got the two aces, 78 cards. There's only four aces in 78 cards, and you've got two of them. You got the passionate spirit, creative, move your ass, get going, badassery, ego, and you got that ace of pentacles, tangible things you can touch, feel, taste, and smell in this 3D reality. They're seeds. They're a seed in your hand. What are you going to do with it? You going to look at it? Or are you going to plant it? Then you're going to water it. You're going to till up the earth a little bit. Watch the little sprout go. Through, through, and then, and the, oh my God, it's going to blossom into a beautiful sunflower because it's Leo season. And you got the Kabbalah, Tree of Life. Woo, and getting all kinds of tingles on my face. Y'all, I got more tingles with your reading than I have anybody else's. As above, so below. As within, so without. That's not just a saying, sweetheart. That is real. Take that in. And I'm not going to give you any more on this. It says integration, life lessons, and emanation. But I want you to sit, stop, drop, and breathe. Like Sandra McGillis would say, uh, and I want you to really lean in to what that means for you, the tree of life. And I don't want you just, and I can hear you. I can so hear you right now. I don't want you to just like, oh, well, I know what all that's about. I've studied that. I know all about that. That's just some of you. Some of you are just like, I already know. No. What I want you to do is I want you to breathe in the light, blow out the shadow three times. 
And then I want you to connect in as you're breathing, you connect in with your highest guidance, your highest self, your oversoul, your God spark that's always there with you 24 seven. Then I want you to just type in or speak in to your phone, the tree of life. And then when you open that up, I want you to just go to the one that you're called to. Don't search up and down. Don't get all anal air signs. Stop. <laughs> just go with that first thing. Okay. Now I'm seeing things flying around. I hope that was on camera because there was a little orb that just went by. You are so special. You're so loved. You're so good at what you do. But you're beginning over again and you're having to release some controls. And those people around you that are trying to control things, for some of you, you need to tell them to step back. I'm going to be joyful. I'm going to be in my bliss like a child. And I'm going to be the alchemist creating my magic. And I know that it's not known. Merkaba. Well, shit, you can't make it up. The Merkaba is how we travel. The Merkaba is my favorite symbol. It's my favorite Sabian, not Sabian, excuse me. Although you might look up your own Sabian symbol of your sun sign degree because you have the sun right here. That's why that came through. Yep. Go look it up. Sabian symbol. Your sun sign degree, what does it say? There'll be a message. The Merkaba, 33. There's the three again. Holy cow. It, it just, you have no idea how powerful these messages are. You know, um, travel. Travel in your Merkaba. Go see a spiritual guide. If you want to come see me, my information is below. And then you got the Syrians for the Sirius Stargate. You can't make this up. You just cannot. Tap into the serious gateway, the serious portal. Warning on 8 8 I would not do it. But that's up to you. Just saying. And I have videos on the Lionsgate 8 8. Just search Chanda Sparkles, Lionsgate 8 8. Two videos out there, I believe, for the previous years that'll tell you all about how it's connected to a Draco star. And that's a reptilian hive. And you did get the reptilians. So maybe, maybe that's also a message there for you. I have a reptilian and his name is Drakkar. D-R-A-K-K-A-R. Drakkar. And he once lived with me years and years ago. And there's a big long story connected to that, but I'll let it go. But it ended up being where I ended up figuring out how to love him and how to live with him. And then he eventually left and he came back to help me, you know, later in life. And he comes through when I need him and I need to be stern and I need to be tough. And he does it in a loving way because he's very grateful. He's very grateful that I loved him and I accepted him. You know, so anyway, I'm going to leave that at that. I'm kind of rambling on. There's your Siri in case artistic integrity and honesty. Period. Pull out your artsy stuff. All right. Last card. I know this is running a little longer, but boy, you got a lot of messages and this has been a strong reading. Okay, here we go. I'm really getting a lot of pain on my shadow side for y'all. Get some essential oil called Stress Away by Young Living. Get it on Amazon. It's a little expensive, but it's really worth it. Be very careful. You only use a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. Put it on your temples, your your moon center back here, and your third eye. And you just and I use it every morning like medicine. It's part of my medicine every morning. And you don't just put it on. you got to really rub it in. Uh, then that way, you know, you're getting it in your bloodstream. It'll help you a lot. Whoa. <laughs> Cards have been flying tonight. All right. Wow. Let light in. Okay. So you got let light in. I'm going to zoom that in so you can see it even closer. 
Sit quietly in front of a window. Feel your breathing slow down as you focus on the breath of life. The breath of life. I want you to remember that. Breath of life. Gently close your eyes and ask the window, How do I allow light and love to enter my being? You will sense the answer as a stirring an illumination of the heart, and it is Leo season, the heart. We are illuminating the heart. Feel love and light pouring in as your favorite color. Imagine you fling open the window. A gentle breeze parts the curtains between your inner and your outer worlds. Step into the light. Step into the light, air signs. Step into the light of your essence, of who you are. Love, wisdom, and bliss become you. Slowly open your eyes. Look through the window. With new eyes, what do you see? Wow. I love that for you. Thank you so much. I love you. You got this. Breathe. Take care of yourselves. And I will see you again next time. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so that you can get in on the drawing. And I'll see you the next time. Oh, don't forget to check out the video if you haven't on um, the Galactic New Year. There's a lot of good intel in there. All right. Love you. Serious Gateway is open. Utilize the portal and go to the mountains. I'm seeing waterfalls and mountains for you. <laughs> Thanks. Love you. Bye.